Hi everyone, this is Liz and welcome to my channel. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. For today's video, we are going to visit our veranda area and find the stress succulents there. Let's start with this Echeveria agavoid, just giving us a very nice red tips with some black pigmentation on its leaves. The next one is one of my favorite, Echeveria Kisses, that gives us a chocolate reddish color. The third one is a pink champagne, but it's starting to give us a brown color. I don't know why is it called pink champagne, but right now I'm seeing this dress color. It's turning to brown and it's having a black pigmentation in the leaves so what you are going to see is four bloody maria with different kind of stress color and different pigmentation so this is the first one the second one is starting to give us black red color in the inner set it's like equivaria black rose but equivaria black rose has thinner leaves So this is the third Echeveria Bloody Maria. This one we can see that the pigmentation or the inner set give us a red color. This is the fourth one. Finally figured it out that this Echeveria has is the same with the other Echeveria Bloody Maria. So it has red color now before it's turning almost black but because of continuous rain the stress color changes and it has a baby too. This one is Echeveria Beckia. It looks the same with pink champagne but the leaves is more rounded. This one, I think, is a pink curl. The leaves is not yet curled that much, but it's starting to give us pink tips. This one is an Echeveria Hira, and it's starting to give us red tips, but the lower leaves has more red lines or red tips. This one is an Echeveria Poldensis, so it's like black red yung tips niya, so big that it almost outgrow the brown pot. This one is an Echeveria St. Louis, and I'm not sure if it is a variegated one, but it's starting to give us red tips as dress color. This one is an Echeveria Madiba. It's starting to have curl leaves that signify it's starting to get stressed. And this is our pink Opalina. This is one of my favorite two in the veranda area. It's giving us a pink shade color with almost perfect farina in the inner set this one is a family of agaboids but i'm not quite sure of the id look at the inner set it giving us a different kind of red pigmentation it looks like blood and it has babies too and it's starting to get stressed too This one is, I'm not sure if it is also Echeveria Bloody Maria, but it's the texture of the leaf and the way it's getting stressed is the same with the Echeveria Bloody Maria when it started to get stressed, but I'm not sure. This one is Arun Pai. 
it's starting to give us a purple color and it's starting to show some pigmentation it's like a bouquet of flower that is spotted This one is another Echeveria Hera. So the lower leaves is much more stressed in color because it has a red visible tips. This one, I do not know exactly the ID but it's look beautiful, purplish in color with the red tips that look like a spike. This one is Echeveria Apus or Apus. So it's giving us a pink red tips and it's starting to give us a baby too in the inner set. And this one is an Echeveria Blue Rose but the inner set you can find a bluish color with perfect farina but the lower leaves doesn't have a perfect farina this one is a nikiviria lola look how beautiful it is it's starting to give pink color on its petals but it's not that visible in the video i don't know why this one is another Echeveria Lola, but it looks different from the first one that I've shown you. So it's starting to give us also a pink color in the petals, but not that visible too in the video. This one is a family of Melaco. I do not remember the exact idea of this, but it's really beautiful in person it has a dark red tip so this one is so cute it's small but it has lots of babies and this is one of my favorite also in the veranda area the echeveria site look how shiny the leaves and the pigmentation it's very perfect it's in the rain or shine area so direct sunlight and direct rain this one is mrs richard look at the pigmentation it gives us and it's giving also lots of babies This one is an Echeveria Suyon. It has a red, pink tips and it looks like a bouquet of flower in a pot. So it's very nice to see in actual and it's getting more red tips. This one is a family of Dugong. I'm not exactly sure if it is a Languas. Look at the caranquil. So perfect. So this one, I don't know exactly the ID, but it gives us a flower stalk. At first, I thought it was a, another head or another baby, but it's actually a flower stalk that grows. So look at the red curly leaves. It's very nice. This is the Baron Gold. I do not know why is it called the Baron Gold. I don't see any gold color here. But it's pretty nice in actual. The caramel on the leaves is so perfect. And this one is another kind of pink curls. So it's giving us pink curls in the leaves. This one I forgot the ID but in person the petals of this leaf is so shiny that it looks like a plastic. It has a baby but the baby doesn't have a stress color. 
but the other baby is starting to get stress in color so it's almost fully stress in color kasi look at the big red lips it has This one doesn't give us any stress color because it is an Echeveria blue cloud but I wanted to show you the perfect farina it has. That's why it's bluish in color because it has a perfect farina for me. So this one I'm not sure of the ID but it looks like pink champagne but the stress color is somewhat brown. This one is an Echeveria Fire Pillar. So, look at the red tips. It's pretty nice. It looks like cat's glow, but the green color of cat's glow is quite lighter than the fire pillar. So, this is the second fire pillar that I have in the veranda area. It's much bigger than the first one that I have showed you. So this one, I do not exactly know the Sakalan ID, but look at its amazing pigmentation. Inner one has white and somewhat black. This one is an Echeveria Violet. Before, it's only one rosette, but look how many babies it gave us. So I cannot count it anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think six grows in the inner rosette. But it looks pretty nice. This one is one of the Agavoids family. It's called Red Blush. So it looks like plastic in actual because it has a molded wax leaves. And it's pretty nice. It's getting more stress. I hope we can achieve the full red in color. This one is our flapjack. So it's starting to get stressed. The lower leaf is starting to get full red in color. So it started to shrink. Because before it was so big. It started to shrink. That's a sign of that is getting stressed. This one is our Echeveria Orion. This is a smaller one. So it's starting to give us a purple and more pinkish color. And this one is our Echeveria Kissing. Look at this. It's very pretty. And look at the red tips of the leaves. It's very, it's very nice. And this is our Gypsy. I love this Gypsy. Look at the pigmentation. It's so unique. It's very nice. It's purple, red. I cannot describe exactly how does it look like because the color is a combination of purple, pink, and red. So, I want to flex our background. This is a Melaco. It's purplish in color. It is spotted in a white ceramic pot. And it gives us a very unique trail. So that's all for today's video guys. I hope you like my sharing for today. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and share my video to your family, friends, and relatives. Bye for now. See you on my next video. Bye. God bless us all. Bye.